Conformal geometry is a fascinating branch of mathematics that focuses on the properties of shapes and spaces that are invariant under conformal transformations, which are transformations that preserve angles but not necessarily lengths. Here's a detailed explanation of the key concepts and features of conformal geometry. 1. Conformal transformations. Conformal transformations are mappings that preserve the angles between curves. In the complex plane, these transformations are typically represented by holomorphic functions with non-zero derivatives. In higher dimensions, they include transformations like inversions, translations, rotations, and dilations. 2. Conformal manifolds. A conformal manifold is a type of manifold equipped with an equivalent class of metrics, where two metrics are considered equivalent if one is a scalar multiple of the other. This means that while the actual distances between points may change, the angles between intersecting curves remain the same. 3. Conformal metrics. A conformal metric is a metric that is defined up to a scaling factor. This means that if g is a metric on a manifold, then any metric of the form backslash lambda caret 2g, where backslash lambda is a smooth, positive function, is considered equivalent to g. This allows for the study of geometric properties that are invariant under scaling. 4. Mobius geometry. In two dimensions, conformal geometry is closely related to Mobius geometry, which studies transformations that map circles to circles, or lines, which can be considered as circles passing through infinity. These transformations are generated by inversions, translations, rotations, and dilations. 5. A conformal flatness. A conformal manifold is said to be conformal i flat if there exists a metric in its conformal class that is flat, meaning it has zero curvature. In higher dimensions, a manifold is locally conformal i flat if its wheel tensor vanishes. In three dimensions, this condition is replaced by the vanishing of the cotton tensor. 6. Applications and invariants. Conformal geometry has numerous applications in various fields, including theoretical physics, particularly in the study of conformal field theory and string theory. Important invariants in conformal geometry include the conformal class of a metric and the conformal curvature tensors, like the wheel tensor. 7. Angle preservation. One of the most significant properties of conformal transformations is the preservation of angles. This means that while the shapes of objects may be distorted, the angles between intersecting curves remain unchanged. This property is crucial in many applications, such as in cartography, where conformal maps are used to preserve angles and shapes locally. 8. Historical context. Conformal geometry has its roots in the study of complex analysis and the theory of Riemann surfaces. It has evolved to encompass higher dimensional spaces and has become a fundamental tool in modern mathematical physics. 9. Conformal mappings. Conformal mappings are functions that locally preserve angles. In the complex plane, these are given by holomorphic functions with non-zero derivatives. These mappings are used extensively in complex analysis and have applications in engineering and physics. 10. Stereographic projection. A classic example of a conformal map is the stereographic projection, which maps a sphere onto a plane. This projection preserves angles and is used in various applications, including cartography and the visualization of complex functions. Conformal geometry provides a rich framework for understanding the intrinsic properties of shapes and spaces that are invariant under angle-preserving transformations. Its applications span from pure mathematics to theoretical physics, making it a vital area of study in modern science definition of angle preservation. Angle preservation means that the angle between two intersecting curves remains unchanged under a transformation. This property is central to conformal mappings, which are transformations that preserve angles but may alter distances and shapes. 2. Mathematical representation. In the complex plane, a function, f, z, is conformal if it is holomorphic, complex differentiable, and its derivative, f, z, is non-zero. For such functions, the angle between two curves at a point, z, is the same as the angle between their images under, f, at the point, f, z. 3. Local behavior. Conformal transformations are locally angle-preserving. This means that at any small enough region around a point, the transformation behaves like a similarity transformation, a combination of rotation, translation, and scaling. This local behavior ensures that the angles between curves are preserved even if the overall shape is distorted. Four examples of conformal maps. Mobius transformations, these are transformations of the form f, z, equals backslash frac, a, z plus b, c, z plus d, where, add, b, c backslash neck zero. They map circles and lines to circles and lines, preserving angles. Stereographic projection, this maps a sphere onto a plane in such a way that angles are preserved. It's used in cartography and complex analysis. 
5 Applications in Physics and Engineering Angle preserving transformations are used in various fields, cartography, conformal maps are used to create maps that preserve local angles, making them useful for navigation. Fluid dynamics, conformal mappings help solve problems involving potential flow around objects. Electromagnetism, they are used to solve problems involving electric fields and potentials. 6. A visual intuition. Imagine drawing a small triangle on a rubber sheet. If you stretch the sheet in such a way that the angles of the triangle remain the same, but the sides may change in length, you are performing a conformal transformation. The shape of the triangle may change, but the angles at each vertex remain constant. 7. Conformal invariance. In physics, certain theories are invariant under conformal transformations. This means the physical laws described by these theories do not change under transformations that preserve angles. Conformal invariance is a key feature in conformal field theory, which is important in string theory and statistical mechanics. 8. Complex analysis. In complex analysis, conformal mappings are used to study functions of a complex variable. The Riemann mapping theorem, for example, states that any simply connected, non-empty open subset of the complex plane can be conformally mapped onto the unit disk. This theorem highlights the power of conformal mappings in simplifying complex problems. 9. Historical context. The study of angle-preserving transformations dates back to the work of mathematicians like Riemann and Gauss. Their work laid the foundation for modern conformal geometry and its applications in various scientific fields. 10. Practical example. Consider the Mercator projection used in world maps. This projection is conformal, meaning it preserves angles, making it useful for navigation because compass bearings are represented as straight lines. However, it distorts distances and areas, especially near the poles. Angle preservation is a powerful concept that allows mathematicians and scientists to study and solve problems where the preservation of local geometric properties is crucial. Example, shear transformation. A shear transformation is a classic example of a non-conformal transformation. In two dimensions, a shear transformation can be represented by the matrix 10K1, where K is a constant. This transformation shifts each point horizontally by an amount proportional to its vertical coordinate. Effect on angles. Consider two lines intersecting at a right angle, 90 degrees. After applying a shear transformation, the angle between these lines will change. For instance, if we apply the shear matrix to the vectors backslash math v underscore 1 equals 1, 0, and backslash math v underscore 2 equals 0, 1, the vector backslash math v underscore 1 remains unchanged backslash math v underscore 1 equals 1, 0. The vector backslash math v underscore 2 is transformed to backslash math v underscore 2 equals k, 1. The angle backslash theta between the transformed vectors backslash math v underscore 1 and backslash math v underscore 2 is given by cos equals v1 v2 v1 v2. Substituting the transformed vectors, cos equals 1 k2 plus 1 1 0 k 1 equals k2 plus 1 k. This shows that the angle backslash theta is no longer 90 degrees unless k equals 0. Therefore, the shear transformation does not preserve the original angles, making it a nonconformal transformation. Applications and implications. Nonconformal transformations like shear are used in various fields, including computer graphics. Shear transformations are used to create effects such as slanting or skewing objects. Structural engineering. Understanding shear transformations helps in analyzing stresses and strains in materials. Geophysics, shear transformations can model certain types of deformations in the Earth's crust. By altering angles, nonconformal transformations provide a different perspective on how shapes and structures can be manipulated, which is useful in both theoretical and practical applications. Mobius geometry is a fascinating area of mathematics that deals with transformations preserving the structure of the complex plane, particularly focusing on the properties of circles and lines. Here's a detailed explanation of the key concepts and features of Mobius geometry. 1. Mobius transformations. Mobius transformations, also known as fractional linear transformations, are functions of the form f, z, equals c, z plus das plus b, where a, b, c, and d are complex numbers and add b, c backslash neck zero. These transformations map the extended complex plane, including the point at infinity, onto itself. 2. Properties of Mobius transformations Angle preservation Mobius transformations are conformal, meaning they preserve angles between curves. Circle preservation They map circles and lines to circles and lines. 
This property is crucial in many applications, such as in complex analysis and geometric function theory. Group structure, the set of all Mobius transformations forms a group under composition, known as the Mobius group. This group is isomorphic to the projective linear group, backslash text PGL, 2, backslash map, C, 3, cross ratio. The cross ratio is an invariant under Mobius transformations. For four distinct points, Z underscore 1, Z underscore 2, Z underscore 3, Z underscore 4, in the complex plane, the cross ratio is defined as Z1, Z2, Z3, Z4, sad smiley Z1, Z4, Z2, Z3, Z1, Z3, Z2, Z4. This quantity remains unchanged under any Mobius transformation, making it a powerful tool in studying the properties of these transformations. For symmetry with respect to a Klein, a Klein is either a circle or a line in the complex plane. Mobius transformations can be decomposed into simpler transformations, such as translations, rotations, dilations, and inversions. Inversions are particularly interesting as they map points inside a circle to points outside and vice versa, while preserving the structure of the plane. 5. And normal forms. Any Mobius transformation can be expressed in a simpler form through conjugation with other transformations. For example, any Mobius transformation can be written as a composition of at most three simpler transformations, a translation, a dilation, and an inversion. 6. Steiner circles. Steiner circles are a set of circles associated with a given set of points in the complex plane. They are used to study the geometric properties of Mobius transformations and their effect on the plane. 7. Applications in complex analysis. Mobius transformations are extensively used in complex analysis, particularly in the study of Riemann surfaces and conformal mappings. They help in solving complex differential equations and in understanding the behavior of complex functions. 8. Historical context. The study of Mobius transformations dates back to the 19th century, with significant contributions from August Ferdinand Mobius and other mathematicians. Their work laid the foundation for modern geometric function theory and complex analysis. 9. Visual intuition. To visualize a Mobius transformation, consider how it maps the extended complex plane. For instance, the transformation F, Z, equals backslash frac, 1, Z, maps the interior of the unit circle to the exterior and vice versa, while preserving the unit circle itself. 10. Decomposition of Mobius transformations. Mobius transformations can be decomposed into four basic types, translations, F, Z, equals Z plus B. Dilations, F, Z, equals A, Z. Rotations, F, Z, equals E caret, I backslash theta, Z. Inversions, F, Z, equals backslash frac, 1, Z. By combining these basic transformations, any Mobius transformation can be constructed. Mobius geometry provides a rich framework for understanding the transformations that preserve the structure of the complex plane. Its applications span from pure mathematics to theoretical physics, making it a vital area of study in modern science. Mobius geometry and Riemann surfaces are deeply interconnected through their shared foundation in complex analysis and conformal mappings. Here's a detailed explanation of how these two areas relate. 1. Mobius transformations and Riemann surfaces. Mobius transformations are fundamental in the study of Riemann surfaces. These transformations are conformal, meaning they preserve angles and they map the extended complex plane, including the point at infinity, onto itself. Riemann surfaces, which are one-dimensional complex manifolds, can often be studied using Mobius transformations. 2. Uniformization theorem. One of the most significant connections between Mobius geometry and Riemann surfaces is the uniformization theorem. This theorem states that every simply connected Riemann surface is conformally equivalent to one of three geometries, the open unit disk, the complex plane, or the Riemann sphere. Mobius transformations play a crucial role in this theorem because they can map these geometries onto each other. 3. Quotient spaces and subgroups. Riemann surfaces can be constructed as quotient spaces of the complex plane under the action of discrete subgroups of Mobius transformations. For example, the torus can be seen as the quotient of the complex plane by a lattice of translations, which are specific types of Mobius transformations. For conformal structure. Mobius transformations induce a conformal structure on Riemann surfaces. This means that locally, the geometry of a Riemann surface can be described using Mobius transformations, which preserve the angles and the complex structure of the surface. This local conformal structure is essential for understanding the global properties of Riemann surfaces. 5. A complex analysis. In complex analysis, Riemann surfaces provide the natural setting for studying multivalued functions, 
such as the logarithm or the square root. Mobius transformations help in understanding the behavior of these functions by providing a way to map different parts of the Riemann surface onto each other. 6. Cross ratio and invariance. The cross ratio, an invariant under Mobius transformations, is a powerful tool in the study of Riemann surfaces. It helps in classifying different types of transformations and understanding the geometric properties of the surfaces. Since the cross ratio remains unchanged under Mobius transformations, it is used to study the conformal equivalence of different Riemann surfaces. 7. Applications in physics. In theoretical physics, particularly in string theory and conformal field theory, Riemann surfaces and Mobius transformations are used to describe the behavior of strings and fields. The conformal invariance of Mobius transformations makes them suitable for modeling physical phenomena that are invariant under angle-preserving transformations. 8. Historical development. The study of Riemann surfaces and Mobius transformations has a rich history, with significant contributions from mathematicians like Bernhard Riemann and August Ferdinand Mobius. Their work laid the foundation for modern complex analysis and geometric function theory, bridging the gap between algebraic and geometric methods. 9. Visualizing Riemann surfaces. To visualize a Riemann surface, consider how a multivalued function like the square root can be represented. The complex plane is cut along a branch cut, and the two sheets of the surface are connected along this cut. Mobius transformations can then be used to map these sheets onto each other, preserving the complex structure. 10. Examples of Riemann surfaces. The Riemann sphere, the extended complex plane, including the point at infinity, can be mapped onto the Riemann sphere using stereographic projection, a type of Mobius transformation. Tori, a torus can be represented as a quotient of the complex plane by a lattice of translations, which are Mobius transformations. Mobius geometry provides the tools to study the local and global properties of Riemann surfaces, making it a crucial area of research in both mathematics and physics. Mobius transformations play a significant role in conformal field theory, CFT, a framework used in theoretical physics to study quantum field theories that are invariant under conformal transformations. Here's a detailed explanation of how these transformations relate to CFT. 1. Conformal symmetry. Conformal field theory is built on the principle of conformal symmetry, which includes transformations that preserve angles but not necessarily distances. Mobius transformations are a subset of conformal transformations that act on the complex plane and the Riemann sphere. They include translations, rotations, dilations, and inversions, all of which preserve the angles between intersecting curves. 2. Mobius group. The Mobius group, also known as the projective special linear group, backslash text, PSL, 2, backslash math, C, consists of all Mobius transformations. This group is fundamental in CFT because it represents the symmetries of the theory. In two-dimensional CFT, the Mobius group acts as the global conformal symmetry group, which is crucial for defining the structure of the theory. 3. Primary fields and transformation properties. In CFT, fields are classified according to how they transform under conformal transformations. Primary fields are those that transform in a simple way under Mobius transformations. If backslash phi z is a primary field with conformal dimension backslash delta, it transforms as phi z dz dz z, where z equals backslash frac az plus b cz plus d is a Mobius transformation. This transformation property is essential for understanding the behavior of fields under conformal symmetry. For Virasoro algebra, the local conformal symmetry in two-dimensional CFT is described by the Virasoro algebra, an extension of the Mobius algebra. The Mobius transformations correspond to the global part of the Virasoro algebra, generated by the operators L underscore minus 1, L underscore 0, and L underscore 1. These generators correspond to translations, dilations, and special conformal transformations, respectively. 5. Correlation functions. Mobius transformations are used to determine the form of correlation functions in CFT. The invariance under these transformations imposes constraints on the possible forms of the correlation functions. For example, the two-point correlation function of primary fields with conformal dimensions backslash delta underscore 1 and backslash delta underscore 2 is given by 1 z1 2 z2 sat smiley z1 z2 1 plus 2 c1 2 where c underscore 12 is a constant this form is dictated by the requirement that the correlation function remains invariant under mobius transformations 6 modular invariance 
In the context of CFT on a torus, Mobius transformations are related to modular transformations, which are a subset of conformal transformations that preserve the structure of the torus. Modular invariance is a crucial property in string theory and statistical mechanics, ensuring the consistency of the theory under changes in the torus's complex structure. 7. Applications in String Theory In String Theory, CFT describes the dynamics of strings propagating in space-time. Mobius transformations are used to map different regions of the string world sheet, preserving the conformal structure. This is essential for defining the string's interactions and ensuring the consistency of the theory. 8. Historical Context the connection between Mobius transformations and CFT has its roots in the early development of quantum field theory and string theory. The study of conformal symmetry and its applications in physics has led to significant advancements in our understanding of fundamental interactions and the structure of spacetime. 9. Mathematical Tools Mobius transformations provide powerful mathematical tools for analyzing and solving problems in CFT. They simplify the study of conformal mappings and the behavior of fields under symmetry transformations, making them indispensable in both theoretical and applied contexts. 10. Visual Intuition To visualize the role of Mobius transformations in CFT, consider how they map the complex plane onto itself, preserving the angles but potentially distorting distances. This angle-preserving property is crucial for maintaining the conformal structure of the field theory, allowing for a consistent description of physical phenomena. Mobius transformations are thus integral to the structure and analysis of conformal field theory, providing the symmetry principles and mathematical framework necessary for understanding the behavior of fields and interactions in a conformal invariant setting. Conformal field theory CFT, has numerous applications in high-energy physics, providing deep insights into the behavior of quantum fields and the fundamental structure of spacetime. Here are some key applications, 1. Adds forward slash CFT correspondence. The adds forward slash CFT correspondence, also known as the Maldusner duality, is one of the most profound applications of CFT. It posits a relationship between a type of CFT defined on the boundary of an antida sitter, adds space and a gravitational theory in the bulk of the add space. This duality provides a powerful tool for studying quantum gravity and string theory, allowing calculations in a strongly coupled quantum field theory to be translated into a classical gravity problem 1. 2. Critical Phenomena and Phase Transitions CFT describes the universal physics of scale invariant critical points, which occur at continuous phase transitions in various systems such as fluids, magnets, and other materials. The conformal bootstrap program, which uses the constraints of conformal symmetry to solve four critical exponents and correlation functions, has led to precise determinations of these quantities in three-dimensional systems like the Ising Model 2. 3. String Theory in string theory, CFT is used to describe the world sheet theory of strings. The conformal invariance of the world sheet theory is crucial for the consistency of string theory, ensuring that the theory is free of anomalies. CFT techniques are employed to study the spectrum of string states and their interactions, providing insights into the fundamental nature of strings and brands 3. 4. Quantum gravity. CFT plays a significant role in the study of quantum gravity, particularly through the adds forward slash CFT correspondence. This duality suggests that a quantum theory of gravity in add space can be described by a CFT on its boundary, offering a non-perturbative definition of quantum gravity. This has led to advances in understanding black hole entropy, holography, and the nature of spacetime 1. 5. Holographic principle. The holographic principle, which states that the information contained within a volume of space can be represented by a theory on the boundary of that space, is closely related to CFT. The adds forward slash CFT correspondence is a concrete realization of this principle, providing a framework for studying the holographic nature of quantum gravity and the entropy of black holes 1. 6. Conformal Bootstrap the conformal bootstrap is a non-perturbative approach to solving CFTs by exploiting the constraints of conformal symmetry. This method has been used to obtain precise results for critical exponents and operator dimensions in various dimensions, providing a powerful tool for studying strongly coupled quantum field theories too. 7. Applications in Condensed Matter Physics CFT is also applied in condensed matter physics to study systems at their critical points. For example, it describes the behavior of two-dimensional systems at the critical temperature, such as the quantum Hall effect and topological insulators. These applications help in understanding the universal properties of phase transitions and critical phenomena 3. 8. Statistical Mechanics In statistical mechanics, CFT describes the scaling behavior of systems near critical points. 
It provides a framework for understanding the universality of critical phenomena, where different physical systems exhibit the same critical behavior due to underlying conformal symmetry 3. 9. Boundary Conformal Field Theory Boundary CFT extends the ideas of CFT to systems with boundaries or defects. This has applications in string theory, where D-brands are described by boundary CFTs, and in condensed matter physics, where it describes edge states in topological phases of matter 1. 10. Mathematical Physics CFT has deep connections with various areas of mathematics, including representation theory, algebraic geometry, and number theory. These connections have led to new insights and techniques in both mathematics and physics, enriching our understanding of the fundamental structures underlying physical theories too. Conformal field theory thus serves as a crucial framework in high-energy physics, providing tools and concepts that bridge quantum field theory, string theory, and quantum gravity that was all goodbye.